From Kieran Wilson's astonishing fluke to Stephen Maguire's aerial dance with the Red, these are some of the rarest moments in snooker history. Kicking things off, Kieran Wilson produced an unbelievable fluke on the black. The ball ricocheted from the side pocket, slid along the railing, and incredibly found its way into the centre pocket. Here's the way he's aiming on the cue ball. Whoa! <laughs> How do you like that one, JV? Unbelievable, look at this. I think I might have seen it once before, <laughs> unbelievable. Following that spectacle, Sean Murphy executed a near impossible escape. Trapped behind the black, he cleverly used the jaw of the side pocket, resulting in a stunning double that saw the red drop into the middle pocket. Rattle the jaws and run it up the cushion. How about this? Bit of side. Bit of side. I told you it's a magician! Building on the theme of astonishing shots, Donaldson showcased one of the most intricate flukes. The red, after bouncing off the side pocket and sliding on the railing, miraculously found its way into the opposite centre pocket. So this is the fluke. Look at this, Dave. That's incredible, isn't it? In fact, it, it goes along the rail of the table. You've never seen anything. You, sometimes you see it'll go along the rail and drop into that middle, but to come off the table and go into the opposite middle, that's that's virtually voodoo, that is. Never mind flukes. That's black magic. Expanding on jaw-dropping shots, Stephen Maguire executed a mind-bending fluke, a red ball that bounced off the pocket only to reverse its direction and roll right back in. Gotta play Don't Miss Snooker. Oh. Hi, 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 hi. Snooker has just been played. Never seen anything like it in my life. Look at the red, look at the backspin on the red. What happened there? And then look at the cue ball catches a jaw in the middle pocket, hugs the cushion, goes in off. Continuing on, Luca Bracel's miss hit on the pink took an unexpected turn. It clipped the jaw, slid along the railing, and found the opposite pocket in his match against side. Judgment. Things that happen on a snooker table. Seven. It's only 12 foot by six. On the topic of improbable feet, Stephen Maguire's escape stands out as possibly the most impossible in snooker history. The precision and luck combined left everyone in awe. He can pull this off. It's a terrific shot, Willie, isn't it? <laughs> Matter of fact, Dennis, I didn't even realise what he was doing until he played it, and it was a great effort, and a fraction harder, it would have taken that shot on. be in the pocket this time, is it? No, a little bit harder and he's got it, you know. Well played. What a shot. Ronnie O'Sullivan's blind shot at a snookered yellow was another master stroke. To kissing a couple of rails, the ball sank perfectly into the centre pocket. You never know. You never know. There's six pockets on the table. There's six pockets on the table. There's six of them, you know. And he's on the green. On the heels of such incredible flukes, Jimmy White found himself snookered on the final black. Displaying audacity, he tried potting it with his hand and astonishingly nailed it. Come on, get round the back of that black. Get round the back of it. Perfect. <laughs> right on the black. Following the streak of unexpected shots, Darren Morgan aimed for a double on the last red. In a twist, it ricocheted off the rail, sneaking between the green and brown, landing in the side pocket.
Oh, where's the red going? It's in the pocket, you know. It's in the pocket. Wow. Well, a big round of applause because Stephen knows when he comes back to the table, he's going to be tight in behind the black. Building on the suspense, in the 2022 Betford World Championship final, Ronnie O'Sullivan fluked the pivotal black at a tied score of 66 against Judd Trump. He's played it well. He's played that very well indeed. There's a chance of Ronnie to get this black all the way around the angles and onto the ball cushion. To win a cue signed by this snooker legend to enter subscribe to our channel like the video and drop a comment with which part of this video was your favorite moment an unforgettable finish barry hawkins facing judd trump played what could arguably be called the worst shot in snooker history the red initially close to the pocket halted short due to barry's unusually slow touch. wow I know he can't believe it, and nor can I think anyone. The Metropol Arena, yeah. He's smiling, but he ain't amused. Adding to the list of astonishing moments, Judd Trump conjured a fortuitous fluke on the red as it ricocheted off the rail, made contact with the cue ball again, and landed in the centre pocket. Goodness me, what a fluke for Judd Trump. He holds his hand up, the double kiss, and the red goes in, and Matt Sell cannot believe it. This is a monster fluke. This is an absolute hurler. In the intense semi-final of the 2020 World Championship, Kieran Wilson fluked a pivotal green against Anthony McGill. Recognising the fortuitous nature of his shot, Wilson couldn't help but shake his head in disbelief. He's interested here. Where's this Please green heading? Me. Please tell me he's not fluked it. Please tell me he's not fluked it. Three. He has. And he can't believe it. And nor can poor Anthony McGill. Amidst the high stakes of the 2022 Betford World Championship final, Judd Trump unexpectedly fluked a red against Ronnie O'Sullivan, adding another layer of intrigue to their thrilling encounter. middle pocket and on its last roll goes round the knuckle of the pocket and in in a light-hearted moment after neil robertson potted a black referee jan verhaas amusingly stood still neil's playful gesture towards the potted black reminded jan of his rare oversight 20. i think jan verhaas is getting a bit tired here the black's in the pocket jan you've got to take it out otherwise we'll be here all night <laughs> Say. The referee never gets a moment's peace, he's got a concert. He's put the black. He's, he's pointed to the referee, look, the black's in the pocket. Wrapping up the streak of surprises, John Higgins masterfully executed a cocked hat double on a red. 